Adam from Handy Dads here to show you how to install an interior bedroom door, closet door, it really doesn't matter. So I already pulled the old, old door off. All I did was pop off the pin and you got the old door here. So now we have the new door. Make sure you measure the old door. This is a 30 by 80. So we got 30 by 80 door. So what you wanna do is, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and take the old hinges off and we'll put those to the side with the pins because we could reuse them you can get new hinges if you prefer if the, the old hinges are are not good or you just want to update them and now i got the new door with the hole with the doorknob already cut out it's worth the extra couple bucks to get the ones that have it already cut out for you. Otherwise, you're gonna get a, you're gonna need another, uh, you're gonna need another rig, and drill, chisel. The time that you save is worth the extra couple bucks for the doors that have it already cut in. So now we're gonna lay our old door on top of the new door. Okay, this is a very important step. A lot of people get it wrong because they don't do this. You wanna line up the front of the door and the top of the door to keep the lines consistent. The top and the front of the door need to stay the same so it gives you your same gap between the frame. And now you wanna mark off the back side and then just go ahead and mark it all the way down. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get your circular saw line it up to that line and rip it all the way down now there are tools you can use the old door clamp it to to make a straight edge a little trick of the trade is to use these two fingers right here you pinch your guide where you want it to line up and then you just run it along the door And you should have a nice clean cut and nice finished edge there. So now what you want to do is you want to transfer down your hinges to the next side, to the new door. I usually only mark the side that we cut because this is the hinge side where it's going to go on. This side is not. So I'll mark that down there. Same thing on this side. You want to mark that down. Only the side you want to cut, leaving the other side alone okay so this is a really cool tool by ryobi and it gives you the sizes that you need three and a half four and a half all the way up to five inch hinges so you could totally just mark that out and use a router or a chisel i'm going to show you how to chisel it in case you don't have a router and then the second one i'll go ahead and show you how to do it with the router so we could go ahead and take this off this marks our hinge where we need it to be and let's go ahead and chisel it out Okay, so real quick, if you don't have that tool, you could use the paint line. What you want to do is also, it's either the paint line you could use as a little trick, um, or it's a quarter of an inch, you want to stay off the edge. And then you could go ahead and put that between your lines and mark it. And now once you have that marking, you want to go ahead and I like to score it first. Just score it right along the line and around the edges okay and then you want to get your chisel if you notice the chisel has a flat side and an angled side so the flat side goes on the line and you just want to chisel it on both sides and then down the back side and now you want to go and start it and go at a sharp angle, making sure not to go too deep. You'd rather go a little bit at a time than to go too deep. And then go in from the other side, same thing. Almost flat to the door. Takes a little practice, so, and then if you have a nice sharp chisel, clean it off. Okay, so as you can see, that's a bit of a process. Uh, you get it flat, nice and flush, 
and then just pre-drill your holes. It's always a good idea to pre-drill the holes so that the wood doesn't split on you. You want to go a little bit smaller than your screw, the screws that you're using. And then go ahead and get your screws. And that hinge is all set, ready for paint. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you the much easier, quicker way to do it if you have a router. Okay, go ahead and put your template in here, get your router to the right depth, get you all marked in here, and then just, you're gonna want, what I normally do is I go across, I go around the edge, and then I just make a line back and forth until everything's um, routed out. There you have it, nice and clean. Now, as you can see, much cleaner, much quicker, and it's a perfect fit every time. So, uh, now you're just gonna go ahead and pre-drill your holes, and then screw in your screws. Now you're ready to go ahead and take it back inside, line the hinges back up, and drop your pin right in the top and lock it in place and you're good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below on what you wanna see us do next. Have a good one.